to begin, we are going to call forth the uh, principal from Corona Avenue Elementary. She's going to tell us about something exciting that is going on at Corona Avenue with their robotics team. This is uh, Ms. Rachel Saldana. Hi, good evening. Um, so we're really excited. Our robotics team on March 2nd went to the state championships in San Diego, and we won um, the state championships. The students had a STEM research project, and their project was picked as the champion for the state. So now we've been invited to go to Kentucky. So the kids will um, are invited to go to Louisville and to compete in the world championship. So we're very <laughs> proud. <laughs> go Eagles! <laughs> We're very proud and excited. They've worked so hard. Our teachers have worked really hard with them. This is our first year of the robotics club, so this is awesome. It started off, we um, competed against 33 schools, and we made it to the state championship in 22, and out of the 22 schools, um, five made it. So this is very exciting. And so if anyone wants to donate, we are collecting <laughs> money because with a trip to Kentucky, um, we need money. So please feel free. Stop at Corona. I have letters to give people, businesses, anyone who would like to support our kids and all their hard work. This is a wonderful once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them, and it's so important that we support them as a city. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Principal Saldana. Oh. Ms. Saldana, can you repeat again? When are they going to Kentucky? They're going to Kentucky. It is April 27th. April. Until May 1st. Through May 1st. And what is the... The STEM project? What, what is it that you're looking for? How much amount oh, you're looking for? Oh, thank you. We're trying to raise about 10000 It's about 1000 um, to 1200 a student and the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, so then that way we can go to Kentucky. You know, I went to Corona Elementary myself, so I'd love to get that fire and put it on social media and start fundraising. Perfect. We will. <laughs> Thank you. So that kind of success wouldn't be possible without amazing staff. So thank you, Principal Saldana. We really appreciate your effort and your diligence in this, and, and we're so proud of you. And we're going to uh, present you with a certificate. Oh. And the certificate reads... And what we're going to do is we're going to gather everybody there. So if you don't mind staying there, we're going to call up the teachers and all the students, and then we'll have a picture. Um, real quick, uh, next we're going to call up our teachers, who were the people who trained, you know, these fine young men and women to compete. So I'd like to call forth uh, Stephen Altamirano, <laughs> Lorena McDaniel, and Sean Gallivan. And next, we're going to bring up all of the students, and then we'll come down and take a picture. So the students who are going to be representing the, our community at the national competition are Ariana Arriola, <laughs> Carlos Fermin, <laughs> Kevin Leal, Matthew Ochoa, Isaac Torres, and Juan Samudio. Now I'm going to come down and join you guys for a picture. Let's give them a big hand again, everybody.
I thought I was going to announce the names too. <laughs> Should I just put on the slide, or do the other yeah. thing? We got one more, right? Sorry. We have one more recognition, yes. So uh, again, we are so excited for you. Uh, and they call themselves the Corona Avenue Elementary Gearheads. That's the name <laughs> of their robotics team. So best of luck. And I'm sure you guys are going to do amazing in Kentucky. And we look forward to hearing how that turns out. So thank you for, being, for making us so proud. Um, next, we have a presentation to, uh, to a young man who started something in our community uh, about a little over five years ago. And I only recently became aware of this. Um, what he's done is out of his parents' uh, garage, he holds a monthly event uh, presents where, where people are able to come and present their poetry, their rap, and uh, really enrich our community with cultura and arts and everything. So uh, I'd like to call forth Eric Esley. Uh, he is from Alivio Open Mic. And first I want to ask you to say a few words about what you have going on there, and then we're going to come down and give you a certificate for all of your hard work. So let's give him a big hand. Hello. Um, so hello, everybody. I live in here in the city of Bell. I grew, I, I was pretty much born here, raised here, I lived here all my life. I went to Bell High School. Um, and, uh, I decided to start an open mic from my parents' garage on, uh, in the street of Orchard Avenue because, um, I noticed that many of my friends and neighbors and, and family around these communities had a lot of beautiful things to share and say, but we didn't have a platform or a space to do it in. So, um, I took it upon myself to start an open mic from our garage, and it is all familia, it's all culture, it's all arts, and we celebrate each other's voices, it's each other's poetry, each other's struggles and perseverance at this space. We've been doing it since 2013. Um, it is called Alivio Open Mic. You may take out your phones right now and follow us on Instagram, if your Instagram is working today, <laughs> um, or on Facebook, it's Alivio Open Mic. But uh, before anything else, I cannot be up here and not recognize my parents. Um, muchas gracias, mamá y papá, por siempre apoyar mis sueños y um, mis visiones. Y um, por dejar a mucha gente estar en su casa cada mes. Uh, entonces, uh, sin ustedes no podíamos tener alivio open mic. Um, thank you so much to my wife who has supported me along the years. Uh, Siklali, thank you so much for all the work you've done and all the vendors you brought all the artists you've brought to the space, um, and all the people from Bell and Southeast LA that have helped promote the event and everything. It's been such a successful, um, beautiful space full of life and love, and I invite all of you to come to our house March 29th. It's going to be another event, another beautiful night. It's usually every fourth Friday of the month. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And before you, uh, let's give him a hand again. I just would like to read the certificate, um, and again, we are so appreciative for what you've done for our community and for the Southeast, and really the entire community beyond. So on behalf of the City of Bell, we would like to recognize you for being an outstanding community leader. Uh, thank you for providing a safe space for community members to express their creativity in spoken word. Congratulations. And they also do music, so everything, yeah. you know, all, a little bit of it. Yeah. right? Uh, congratulations on your five-year anniversary. Your commitment and dedication in achieving this moment of success is truly commendable. Best wishes. All right. Thank you so, so much, Council. We're going to come you for rewarding me with this as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you.
there's always so much great stuff going on in the community. And, you know, one of the nice things about, you know, having these meetings is we have an opportunity to highlight, you know, uh, what happens in our community. So, again, we're very, very proud of, of uh, I'll leave you open mic, and I highly encourage you to come out this uh, Friday, March 29th, for, and I think it's also like a, a women's uh, celebra celebration of women's contributions and so forth. So, thank you. Uh, next, we are going to uh, have a presentation from our um, economic development specialist, Jackie Choi. And uh, I know we just recently had the opening of Border X microbrewery, and so I'll, um, I'm sure she'll give us an update on that and other exciting projects that are coming to the City of Bell. So without further ado, this is Jackie Choi. Thank you, Mayor and members of the Council. Um, tonight we're going to give a, a, our monthly economic development update to um, provide an overview of the projects that we are currently working on. So here's a project that we have completed this year, which is the, the Border X Brewing Project over at 4400 Gate 6419 Pine. So um, Border X had a successful grand opening event on March 2nd. Um, according to the business, approximately 3,000 people visited Border X Brewery throughout the grand opening day. Um, staff would like to thank everyone um, who came out to really celebrate the new business in Bell. We're all excited for their um, um, upcoming um, business. And here are some pictures from the, the grand opening event, which was the ribbon cutting, and some Aston Blessing ceremony that we had inside the building. And then just to show how much of a crowd we had um, during the, the grand opening date. And from what I'm hearing, actually, um, the business has been um, pretty much crowded and well attended for um, the past um, two weekends since the grand opening. And here's a project in motion. Um, this is the former Western Auto site on 6415 Atlantic, where Aurora Seiko is currently doing a remediation um, work to um, clean up the contamination. So on Tuesday, uh, March 12th, which was yesterday, uh, based on the, um, the approved uh, remedial action plan, the sewer lateral and the, the floor drains were removed. So here's the floor drain. Um, the soil matrix samples were also collected along the base side walls of these um, excavations for analysis of the volatile organic compounds. And the um, preliminary readings on the soils will be available um, in the next couple days. And that's it. Um, and our next update will be at the first meeting of April, which is April 10th. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Choi.